Once upon a time, in the enchanting kingdom of Eldoria, there lived a good witch named Serafina. She resided in a quaint cottage at the edge of the whispering woods, where the trees danced with the wind and the flowers bloomed in vibrant colors. Serafina was known for her kindness. She healed the sick, helped the needy, and shared her magical potions with anyone who asked. The witch often roamed in the kingdom, looking for poor people. She used to buy goods and foodstuff from market and put them outside of people's houses and used her magic wand to make houses beautiful. If somewhere water was low in well, she filled it with magic and decorate the garden with vibrant colored flowers. Many of the villagers would come to her when they were in need, and so Athena always helped them without asking for anything in return. The princess was so happy with so Athena. She often went to her when she had a problem. There was peace and prosperity everywhere, but as the time passed, the people of Eldoria grew prideful and ungrateful. They began to spread rumors about Soafina, calling her strange and dangerous because she lived alone in the woods. They mocked her appearance, fearing her power rather than appreciating the good she did. Whenever she visited the village, children ran away, and adults started gossiping behind her back. Even though Soafina was deeply hurt, she kept helping, hoping their hearts would change. One day, a terrible storm struck the kingdom, and crops were destroyed. Instead of asking for Serafina's help, the people blamed her for disaster, accusing her of bringing misfortune. Overwhelmed by their cruelty and betrayal, Serafina's heart broke. She decided to teach them a lesson, and in a moment of deep sorrow and anger, she asked a powerful curse over the kingdom. The skies darkened, the once fertile lands turned barren, and the rivers dried up. Black cloud covered the sky, curse began to take hold in the kingdom, satanic forces began to spread everywhere, they even occupied the castle. The demonic power of the witch was growing stronger. She wanted to punish all the people who betrayed her. Witchcraft was becoming more powerful due to demonic powers. She wanted to see people in pain, so she sat down on a broomstick and began to fly over the kingdom. All the adults and children were scared and looked at the witch pleadingly, but the witch was enjoying their trouble. But while going back home, her heart was getting sad. She was feeling ashamed of herself. She was thinking about sad faces of the people. When she reached home, she looked at herself in the mirror she was looking ugly. She was not able to decide whether she was right or wrong. Meanwhile, everyone gathered to seek help from the old magician, who lived in the forest on the other side of the palace. People told the whole story to the magician. He understood and said that you guys have done wrong with the witch, now ask for her forgiveness. How should we? People asked, then the old magician said that you should ask for help to the princess, she is good friend of Suafina. She will listen to the princess and take her curse back. Desperate, the people turned to the Princess Alara, the wise and kind daughter of the king. She had always believed in kindness and justice, and though the people had mistreated Serafina, Alara knew the witch's true heart. Determined to make things right, Princess Alara set off on a journey to find Serafina and ask for forgiveness on the behalf of her people. After days of travel through the darkened woods, Ilara found Soafina's cottage. She did not see the witch anywhere, so she sat by the door of the witch and started waiting for her. Then she heard the sound of crying. She looked behind her. She saw the witch, once glowing with warmth, now appeared weary and sad, her eyes filled with hurt. After seeing Princess, Soafina entered her cottage, sat down on the floor in desperate condition. Why have you come, Princess? Serafina asked softly, her voice carrying the weight of her grief. Ilara knelt before her. I come to ask for forgiveness, not only for myself but for my people. We were wrong to treat you so cruelly after all the kindness you showed us. We forgot your goodness, and in our pride, we let fear and jealousy blind you as. 
Serafina gazed at the Primus, her heart softening at the sight of Ilara's sincerity. Your people's words have wounded me deeply, she whispered. But I see that you come with a pure heart. What makes you think I should lift this curse? Because I believe in the power of forgiveness. Elara replied, And I know that in your heart, you are not the cruel being they think you to be. You are the healer, the helper, the friend. We have wronged you. For a long moment, Serafina said nothing. Then with a gentle sigh, she stood up and went to her library to get a magic book. Then she went to the mountain, raised her hand, and the sky above the kingdom cleared. People were waiting for the princess in front of castle. Suddenly light began to spread everywhere, and the lands blossomed once more, river flowed, and field fertile again. The air was filled with the songs of birds. The curse had lifted, and peace returned to Eldoria. People says thanks to princess, and welcomed Sorafina back with open arms. They apologized and built her a beautiful garden near the village. From that day forward, the people of Aldoria learned to appreciate the magic of kindness.